Hi everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to restore the missing high performance power plan on Windows 11 and Windows 10. Now by default, Windows 11 may only show the balanced and power saver plans as Microsoft aims to optimize power settings for energy efficiency rather than performance. I'll also show you how to bring back other power plans such as power saver or ultimate performance. Now, if any of these are missing, you can easily restore them back with just one simple command. Let me show you how. Right now, if you click on the search box and type powercfg.cpl, you'll see that only the balanced power plan is available. Other options like power saver, high performance, or ultimate performance are not available. To add these missing power plans, from the taskbar, let's click on the search box and type CMD. Select run as an administrator and then click on yes when prompted. In the command prompt window, enter the command to enable the missing power plan. You'll find this command in the descriptions below. For example, if you want to enable the ultimate performance plan, copy the command for ultimate performance from the descriptions then right click in the command prompt window to paste it. That's it, everything is set up now. If you want to enable the high performance power plan, copy the command for high performance from the descriptions below. Go to the command prompt window and right click to paste the command. When you see this message that says power scheme GUID, it means the power plan has been successfully activated. If you are seeing a message like failed to enable power plan or having trouble with high performance plan, here's what you can do. In the video's descriptions below, I left a link to our website where you can download power plan files. Go to that website and scroll down and find the power plan you are having trouble with. For example, high performance and download the file. Open the downloaded file and right click on it and select extract all. Once extracted, right click on the file and choose copy as path. Go back to the command prompt window and type power cfg space hyphen import, then paste the path you copied by right clicking to paste it. Then type space, then type the power plan ID from the descriptions you'll find the IDs for different power plans. Here, for example, the ID for the high performance, select it and copy it. Right click again to paste everything into the command prompt window and hit enter. And that should fix the issue and bring the power plan you need. To confirm that the power plans are enabled, let's click on the search box and type powercfg.cpl. The power options window should appear you should now see different power plans listed such as power saver, high performance, and ultimate performance. This will show you that the power plan has been successfully enabled and are available for selections. And that's all I wanted to show you in this video. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe for more content like this. And thank you for watching.